Hello everyone. Today I'll be explaining Avatar 3.0 state behaviors and what you can do with them. Of course we all know, Avatar 3.0 is a pretty powerful system on its own, but state behaviors allow us to add even more customization to our avatars. As you can probably guess, they're similar to adding components to Unity game objects, but, you know, for animation states. Each behavior does something unique, so let's go over them. Oh yeah, while we're here, is it Avatar 3.0 or Avatars 3.0? Is it plural? I have no f***ing idea. Alright, so the first state behavior we have is the Animator Layer Controller. Basically, this behavior allows you to control the weight of a specific animator layer inside any playable layer over a defined period of time, with the layer weight remaining until another state uses this behavior again to reset it. So, you can basically turn on or off layers from any playable layer using this behavior. For example, here I have a state which acts as an emote. I've applied the animator layer controller, which sets the weight of the sixth layer in my FX controller to 1. I've applied the same behavior to the state that follows it, setting the 6th FX layer back to 0. In this 6th layer, I have an animation that changes a material on my model, with the layer weight set to 0. So, in-game, when I perform this emote, one of my materials will change. The next state behavior we have is called Animator Locomotion Control. This is a simple behavior that disables locomotion when a given state is activated. The state will remain until another state resets it. Here, I have the behavior set on another emote. As you can see here, that sh** ain't moving until the animation stops. Alright, next up is Animator Temporary Pose Space. This behavior allows you to move the viewpoint of the avatar to the head at any given point of the animator state. The view will remain set until another state runs this behavior again and resets or clears it. This behavior is primarily meant to be used when you want to update the view height of your avatar when your posture has changed. So for example, you could be sitting on the ground and activate a state with this behavior on it so your avatar's posture is more accurate. In addition, you can also use the delay time section to have the viewpoint set after a delay. Unchecking the fixed delay box will make it so this instead uses a percentage of the state's duration. Moving on, we have Animator Tracking Control. This is a behavior that's commonly used in the action layer. Animator Tracking Control allows you to enable or disable IK or simulated movement on different parts of the avatar. Setting an option to no change will not change the body part from its current value. Setting it to Tracking will have it use IK or Simulated Movement. Setting it to Animation will force that body part to play animations used in the avatar's animator. A good use of this behavior is to apply it to a facial expression that has the eyes closed, and set eyes and eyelids to Animation. This way, the avatar won't blink while doing that facial expression. Up next, the state behavior Avatar Parameter Driver will set the value of any parameter available in the layer as defined. This one is mainly meant for user-made expression parameters, as using this with any of the VRChat set parameters will not sync across the network, meaning the change will only occur locally, as in, only for you. In addition to being able to set parameters, you can also add, subtract, or have the parameter set randomly between a defined range. However, it's important to note that these options might not produce the same results when the avatar is run remotely, aka anybody else seeing your avatar. In this example here, I'm having my hat toggle set a random range for my shapes parameter that I created for the radial toggle tutorial. So, when I toggle my hat on, it also toggles on a random shape. And last but not least, we have playable layer control which is similar to Animator Layer Controller, except this behavior controls the entire playable layer it's on. This behavior blends the weight of the entire playable layer to a specified value over a specified duration. This is another behavior which is commonly used in the action layer, as the action layer's weight is zero by default, and should be set back to zero after an animation is complete. As you can see in the default action layer, the prepare standing state blends the entire action layer to 1 over a period of 0.5 seconds. 
it then plays the desired animation and blends back out to zero. So, those are the six Avatar 3.0 state behaviors worth checking out. Hopefully some of you guys can get some use out of them and make some awesome and creative avatars. So if you like this video, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.